film and television industry may actually benefit from the tough times on Wall Street. As part of the stimulus package passed by Congress, Hollywood producers will get millions in tax breaks if they film in the United States. Los Angeles is home to more writers, producers, actors, and agents than any city in the world. It's our most famous business. My guest on LA Business today is veteran film and TV actor Julie Cobb. Hi, Julie. Hi, Sherry. It's so great to have you. Thank you for having now, me. Now, Julie is the daughter of an iconic Hollywood parent. And at the end of this segment, we're going to show a film clip of you and your iconic pa parent. He was an iconic actor, not necessarily a parent. <laughs> <laughs> well, an iconic actor. Yeah. Julie, let's talk about what everyone's talking about in Hollywood today, and that is the runaway production, uh, strikes, the, the business of making money in Hollywood. It's been a rough year. It's yeah, been it's a, a rough, rough year. year everywhere. And as you said, the economy, the, the dire straits, the global economy is in may benefit uh, our country and, and hopefully LA. We need incentives and breaks to keep our industry local. I mean, it's no mystery. If, if other countries and other states outside of California and LA make it easier, cheaper, more, more conducive to shooting, we're going to lose business. And we need to keep that industry here. You've been on a lot of shows. And we're going to take a look back at some of Julie Cobb's work. <laughs> uh, Your Honor, Denise Tebow defending Tanya Crane. Pro bono. Excellent, excellent. Oh, I think it'd be a great idea if Elliot could skip a grade. Well, I don't know, honey. It's a big step. <laughs> what do you call her? Honey. Uh, oh, ooh, I know. I'm going to get to the market before dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to make that cherry pie you like. Oh, blue juniper. Oh, I really like this house, don't you, Fred? Oh, I love it. Let's make him an offer. Not so fast, Fred. Scene. How much you charge for therapy? Uh, went a little too far this time. Too far? You deprived that boy's brain of oxygen. He'll pull through. How would you know? I have a feeling. Feeling? Before I started working with Victor, he could barely crack a smile, let alone acknowledge his adoptive parents. Now, he's calling them Mommy and Daddy. My, my. Wow, Julie. <laughs> Trip down memory lane. Anyway. Well, and you're so talented. Thank you. So that talented. Great John Ritter, too. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Yeah. And Home Improvement. Yes. And ER. Yeah. All, you know, ma a major shows that were yeah. and have been uh, taped and I did a lot of work for a, a lot of years and was very lucky. You've also been involved in the politics of Hollywood. Uh, you know a lot about the Screen Actors Guild. We went through a really nasty writer's strike this year. It was really pretty, pretty rough. Yeah. Screen Actors Guild has new leaders, and there's talk of a strike. Is that going to happen? The, uh, the, no, it's not going to happen. Uh, it would be suicide and on a, on a global level. But, you know, you, you mentioned the word politics, and unfortunately that is the motivating factor behind some of the factions in the Screen Actors Guild. When I was on the board, I didn't make a peep for the whole year I was on the board. I was, it was a snake pit, sorry to say. Now, the, the group that has been in power and held the most number of seats on the Hollywood board is called Membership First. They're the ones who are talking about strike. Uh, the, the new majority is Unite for Strength, and th that's where my sympathies lie. Well, you have transitioned out of the acting business, and you're now a life coach. And boy, in these economic times, I would imagine that a lot of your phone must be ringing a lot because people are having to transition and they're having to change and they're losing jobs. And what do you do as a life coach to help people cope through these times? Well, I don't know if I'm a big proponent on, on coping. Uh, you know, although there's nothing wrong, we need to cope during yeah, difficult right. times. But I go deeper. I like to think of going deeper. It's funny, I named my business Getting There From Here. Because when I first began training and getting certified and, and being eager to work with people, I thought, what is it? What do I really want to be? 
for people. And I thought, sometimes we know where we want to go, we just don't know how to get there from here. And right. I thought, that's clever and that's catchy. Yeah. But, you know, the more I've worked, I'm actually considering changing the name of the business to getting here from there. Mm -hmm. And I know it sounds a little, it actually sounds a little L.A. and perhaps a little New Age, but I believe locally, personally, psychologically, spiritually, mm -hmm. um, you know, and communally and globally, we need to get here. We're all out there and we're living in terrifying times. And the terror is, is fed, as we know, by right. politicians, media, um, and so it's helping people become centered in themselves yes so that they're strong so they know who they are and if we know who we are then we can choose what we want and a lot of life coaches are very very successful at getting there from here you know what do we want let's set goals and I right. do that too I, right. I, I, the secret and the, you know how, how, that's a, that's how, a a story. <laughs> how to <laughs> manifest your success but you're not so much about manifesting success as you are Knowing who you are exactly. and feeling comfortable in your skin. Yes, the being part of human being as opposed to doing. We're not human doings. We're human beings. It's been part of your whole life. And I want to thank you for being on LA Business today. My pleasure. And I want to take the audience back now because we promised the clip. So we're going to go back to Gunsmoke and the famous duo of Julie and her father, the late Lee J. Cobb in Gunsmoke. Annie, Annie, you're a loving dream of a girl. A man couldn't wish for a more wonderful daughter. Oh, another goodbye. How many does this make? Oh, this is the last one. You and I come back. I'll be rich. Famous, you'll be proud of me. Take care of yourself. <laughs>